Blaine this time around should also be better for Gunner. Just like it's a it's a matchup that he can kind of put a little bit more pressure on and get, get things done. Yes. Oh, God. Ooh, coming out onto Costa Bile. That'll be a first blood. first blood. The double stuns. It's, it's it too much to handle. Right Husky can't do anything about that on the spirit break. Uh, no one there is Gunner and no one trading hits. TA yeah, definitely off to a slightly better start in this lane so far. She's got a full wave following her at the moment, so that last hit advantage is actually a lot bigger than it looks as Moo goes down in the bottom lane. Unfortunately, from that one, but uh, yeah, Solo was able to. Seem to be the case. Solo, where are you going? He's, free, uh, he's got two spells here. He's going to be able to uh, kill off Solo here by look off it. Let's have the mango and the stick if he wants to uh, keep chasing him down oh, here. It's... Tag team available for a second, but won't be required for Z3 because he gets a little bit of revenge onto Solo. Is up in the top lane, Chugs. Gotta take that into account. Bottom lane, a little bit of trading going on as they move forward onto V-Tune here. Moo and Z-Freak looking for a bit of blood. Solo dishing in quite a lot of damage though onto Z-Freak, but I think V-Tune will be the one falling here. Voice lands coming out as well as they bring him down. Solo gonna get caught by these shards, but no one's coming across. Actually kind of misses the swashbuckle there. Z-Freak very low though, might be falling regardless, but Moo is gonna be able to get the kill onto Solo. Or is he chasing him down, but his boar is actually timed down. Good playing. Yeah, Rolly Thunder coming out, first one off the game, as uh, they're looking to punish Husky for this rotation in. Gunner is nearby, but uh, the bonus armor from the Warcry making them pretty tanky, and actually, now they're bringing more to this one, but Gunner is able to bring down Sweden Strong, and now just goes for the TP away, no more stuns available. Midas Rush has oh God. worked out for him. Solo might be dead here at mid. Not a whole lot of help coming. With the trap, no, no. middle tower. Yeah, you can see Zephyr was considering leaving it, and then he's like, nah. This, this guy just has to die. Save me with the trap, please. Yeah, okay, here we go. Whoa. Sidestepping the swashbuckles once again. Man, they're really good at sidestepping the swashbuckles here. That's also very hard to say. Uh, no one. He's not got much available, so he's just going to end up going down. Man, Z Freak. Absolutely out. We shall see. Got it with a haste room just running at Solo here. Revenge for last game, I think, is on the cards here for the uh, side of Nouns as they were charging as well. Swashbuckle once again. Sidestep by Gunner very nicely. Now, the Rolling Thunder's going to come through, though, and stun up the task. He doesn't have much left in the tank. Sweden Strong just continuing to poke him with that big old sword, which, to be fair, doesn't really do that much damage. Gunner just comes in and takes Sweden Strong out. One big smack coming on through this spot. Buckle does land through the two of them. Z3 trying to duke around it, and Vichu's gonna fall as well. The chain feed coming out from Navi right now. Z3 is he even gonna drop here. Yes, he is. Fourth buckle connects. No one on the cliff trying to keep himself safe. Actually blowing up the trap, keeping him. It's the perfect hero for just kind of doing that solo carry. As once again, Nouns just committing massively to this fight. The roar comes out onto Pangolin. I mean, he might be the one in some trouble though. As Vichu gets on top of him, the science is coming out from Solo. They're gonna stop him from being able to do anything here. And Husky's going for the TP out as well. He's gonna be able to leave. Uh, it's gonna be that for the it's under good attack. luck. Give us your leaps, use them. Yeah, <laughs> it'll cost you two leaps to get away from this gang. Do you accept? Uh oh, Husky. Oh, that's uh, that's a big cost. Ah, uh, uh, now in the top lane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Healing himself up as Moo around the back lines here, getting the roar onto no one just to slow him down. But again, Ooh, Eric jumping through, not going to connect to no one. He's going to end his uh, rolling thunder here and immediately into the blender. Can they finish the job? A beautiful shards coming out, and that'll get them the kill onto no one. And now Husky charging through in for more here. Dyer's top tower is Let's under see, attack. moving up top now for Nouns. Looking to uh, finally get the punish going on to this Mirana who is about to hit Ragnar. In fact, it's coming right now, so uh, if they're not careful, this could be a bit chaotic, but Solo's been taken off, so the Global Science is already off the cards for the side of Na'Vi. You could have maybe kept the catapult to the alive there. Alive. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was about to say. Yeah. <laughs> and here we see the TPs coming out, but uh, Husky My and G Free jumping Go. hard on the back lines here. They're able to take down Solo, but what's it going to cost them? Oh, beautiful shards coming out from Z Free. And now going for the TP out as well. Do they get the back? They don't need it. The stun's going to come out from Sweden Strong as they're able to connect on the Husky on the top side of the fight as well. Nowhere to go for the Spirit Breaker. It's going to be two kills in response for Navi. The Costa Bile, he's setting up big. Oh, big miss on the Bounder Strike, though. I think he was trying to do that right. They're under Moonlight Shadow, so... Oh, they found Gunner. No mana left. Oh, no. Huge kill. <laughs> oh, that is costly. That is... Well, well, well. The brakes have not only been hit 
by uh, Nans in this game, but uh, oh, no. also the momentum is shifting back in the other way, and the arrow does connect yeah. there. The fusel into arrow beautifully done. Uh, he does just get gunned down under his tower. There's kind of some consideration. Gostabile has to be careful again. They have the chrono, so you can't really group up here, but Wukong's command's got to calm down, but Gostabile is actually stuck on the low ground, so can't really get involved in the fight, and they'll just kill off Husky and not pay any price for it whatsoever. No one going through a bit of a roll. It's kind of escaping from Moo and Gunner. Moo's looking at the high ground here, though. This is very aggressive from him. Sweden's strong as well, just kind of hanging around this cliff. He's taking some heavy hits, though. He's going to be falling by the looks of it. What else can they find? Oh, Jordan Spear does come down. Costa Bile caught out. Take him down. Z Freak as well. Look, he's going to fall into the grave. We'll get the roar onto Lays. The slow to connect as well. One more right click does follow from Gunner. But what's the cost going to be? It's going to be a lot. They've already taken down Costa Bile, and they're getting on top of Gunner as well. Do they have the detection, though? Solo. Uh, Sentry's in the backpack. Got a sentry. Solo. Come on. In it goes. <laughs> back into the melt. <laughs> Somebody bring a dust. Cost to be late considering committing with the Wukong's command here. It's gonna do so as he gets knocked down off his tree and stunned up. No one getting huge stun off here with the rolling thunder. Finally, the PKP gets used from Costa Bile, but he doesn't have anyone to hit. He will not turn around and they will take down no one in the end. They've actually managed to find Vichu. He tried to jump in. He doesn't have the chrono for another five seconds, so they could just get the kill here. Vichu, no escape. Now they finally find the opportunity they've been looking for, and immediately they'll be heading for more kills. There is in with the right clicks. Costa Bile joining him as well, dodging out the stun. But still taking the damage. They look in for more. So I'm going to get stunned up attack. by the boundless strike. Oh, One, two, three. That's the meter of And now, beast. guess where they're going? Yeah, in, into the pit. Here we go. No. Yeah, they certainly are. Faces void. I mean, this is so deep in the global science. It's going to come out. Now the three man chrono to follow up as well. V Tune looking for the target here. Does a lot of damage to Tusk. And now moves on to his Tusk as well. So both the supports will likely fall here. And the Aegis popped as well. But Costa Bile is in with Wukong's command. Onto no one. But not doing enough damage. As Sweden Strong chasing for the TA. She wants to get knocked down off the low ground. But no one is smartly ending his rolling thunder early. And they're going to be able to take down Gunner. Huge. Looks are more up against the wall than, than maybe I, I thought. Because. That real that was you know they really forced that there. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure he missed the stun inside the chrono, which is uh I mean you know he does move really fast inside the chrono sphere, but he only knew that because yeah. was earlier. It's not good to get three man chronoed and I laughed at you for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, that was some foreshadowing. There's some advanced storytelling. Guys. Tower is under attack. Oh Lace is dead. Okay, they get the pick off up here at top. Nice, nice. Um yeah, I think getting caught out a little bit by... on him and he just like he doesn't have the talent meanwhile live they get the arrow out onto z freak here he's stunned up for the time being i think they're going to be able to bring him down so a little bit of an overstand from from now being punished as a stun down onto costa bile he doesn't have the bkb for another four seconds he's gone down they didn't wait just no patience at the moment and now husky's on the run as well as uh, no one tries to bring him down meanwhile the rest of the team chasing for move they don't quite connect with that time dilation the bkb is going to come out to dispel the stun gunner's got a double damage for him looking to just blow up here he's in the back lines here we'll be able to know doesn't quite finish the plays as the years comes out and move. He's trying to fight with V2, but Vichu is just going to get shredded. Oh my god. There's yet another double damage. There's been an insane number of double damage uh, runes this series. And our solo. Oh, here it is. The best friend of Nouns here. The person they do honestly have to take out first. And they're able to do it. He does have a buyback. That is the big thing about Sansa due to the global silence. Gunner didn't even yes. know that he was there, but he, he just wanted the wave. But he'll take the kill if he can get it. Now jumping from Z Freak as well, popping the Lincolns, but the rest of the team are behind. So uh, the roar comes through, and with the Golem, they're going to be able to take him down. Z Freak gets a kill. Marana getting eliminated.
Gonna be greedy. EKB gonna be ending in just a second. She could be actually a little bit vulnerable. The Chronosphere comes down onto Gunner. What can they do? The answer is nothing. It's gonna get beaten to death inside the Chronosphere. I'm moving across towards Costa Bile now as well, who also doesn't have that BKB available. A little bit too quick on the trigger from Nouns, as they might get punished. Moo snowballed in the entire enemy team. He tried to save them, but there's nothing to be done. D3 going for the TP out in the trees, but Navi, the moment. It's too good. <laughs> Unfortunately. Very, very strong. Oh, God. They're committing to this, and looks like the world's going to come out onto no one as well as Wukong's commands. So they're just going to be able to shred, or are they? No one's still rolling away from this. Gunner doesn't seem to have the damage. There's so much armor and so much damage this keeps from the shield crafting. He's going to survive through it all. And now Pikachu trading hits with Gunner, and Gunner's not going to live through that one. Costa Bile trying to take to the front lines here. They're just jumping in and out on the moon, keeping everyone alive. b is going to survive as well. Husky is going to go down, and he's three years dead on the side of Nouns. Life here. In comes the Lotus Orb, so the roar is going to be reflected as uh, Sweet and Strong. It's, uh, this is, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of orbs coming out onto people here, but it does look like they've just taken a step too far now. I'm not sure what this play was, but they're going to get punished for it pretty massively. I think he tried to kick him, but he had both the Lotus Orb and Unreal, but the team, they're going uh, on the, the rest of Nouns are actually going in here. Beachin jumping forward, oh, doesn't commit the Chrono for it though, but he does get the BKB out from Moon. Moon tries to get the roar, but the Manta is going to dispel it, and now the damage coming into Gunner. Gunner's just killed off. He's going to immediately buy back and TP back into this. They have to try and a way to turn this one around. Cotabila comes in with the stun, but in comes the Ethereal Blade from Laze. To buy Beachin the space he needs to get himself out. Get out, get in, get out. Alrighty. Well, in comes Z Freak, looking for the kink, looking for maybe the punch back as well. The snowball is going to be able to get them the first kill onto the faceless void. Sven and no one are running themselves over. Will they get the follow up kill onto V the four star out of the Wukong's command is going to make that completely useless. As now in the back line, Sweetie Strong connects with a two man stun onto them. The raw comes out as well, reflected as V standing in the middle of this fight. But when he comes out, ready. Fight, what is he going to be able to achieve? The Chronos Bay comes out onto Gunner once again, using our precious shot to kill us both the cores, and that's going to be it. The game number Two, it is a for Nardo to control the forces of this EEU super house. Navi just looking phenomenal. Really great plays. I don't think so.